Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday. I'm in extremely good mood as in a few hours I'll be hopping in my RV and going to the Catskills and camping for a couple days. Uh, I know I just gave you guys a video yesterday because, you know, my schedule's all messed up. I thought yesterday was Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I felt like making a video. How's that? Anyway, Fry Fry Friday. I'm going to skip this tank for a second. We got these guys. The Sunset Platy Fry, which I guess are almost juveniles. Fry Fry Friday plus juvenile. I don't know. Uh, we also have the Blue Diamond uh, Guppies. Growing nice. There's four of those in there. I think there's three females and a male, but I'm not sure. Could be could be four females. Now let's take a look at this other tank right here, this one. Two pregnant female sunset platies. I had another female and a male, and they, they both died from that whatever disease I have going on or had going on or whatever. I was cleaning the tanks, doing a pretty large uh, volume water change before I go away. Um, that's probably enough water out of this tank for now. Anyway, and uh, so what I like to do is I like to move all the stuff out of the way, especially if there's no fry in the tank, and try to get some of the, the excess mom or uh, detritus on the bottom of the tank. And when I did that, I noticed a little itty bitty tiny fry, like itty bitty, like hours old, if that. Um, now I don't see the fry. There is a possibility I sucked the fry up, but I don't think so. I think when, once I saw the fry, uh, I stopped, but you never know. Uh, remember yesterday, in my yesterday's video, I mentioned how that one female was hanging out underneath the, uh, underneath the um, sponge in the back. And I said, I, I think she's she's getting ready to drop fry. I just gotta unplug my pump here. Hold on, sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I don't see any more fry. I'm wondering if I interrupted her or uh, or what. So hopefully there will be more fry uh, today or tomorrow, probably tonight or when the lights go out in a couple hours. I'm not worried about feeding them, quite frankly. There's so much stuff on the moss and the uh, and the mum. The fry should be fine. Look at all the fry in here. There's a lot of fry in there. What else we have? What else we have? That's not even close to being English. What else do we have? Nothing from these guys. Um, was kind of hoping I'd have some by now, but that's okay yellow tank <coughs> Oof. Uh, saw some fry some new new fry earlier this week yeah there's one up there see if we can't see it without the glare uh, can you see it I can't see it you know one day I'm actually gonna surprise you guys and clean these tanks but it's not today not today anyway there are some itty bitties in there like a couple days old Looks like there's probably three different batches uh, in here. There's at least two, but I think there's three. We got the green cobra fry starting to show a tiny bit of color in the right light. They're gonna be quite spectacular. Um, pretty excited about all these guys. They uh, eat like pigs, which is nice because they're growing fast. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, look, 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 fry. Um, these guys are neon sore tails. Got them from Imperial Tropicals down in Florida. Hope everybody in Florida is being safe and smart. If the state tells you to evacuate, get the heck out. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, hopefully everybody, you know, was prepared. If you have fish tanks, if not, you're stupid because... We knew about this hurricane a week ago, and you should have been prepared. Sorry to be so blunt. 
Uh, so we have a male and a female adult, and what appears to be a female, well, you really can't tell at this age, uh, a female juvenile. That female adult also looks like she has more fry. <coughs> now this, these guys just continue to surprise me. Look at all these red wag platies in here. There's three generations, three different generations. I really thought I was gonna lose the adults uh, to uh, whatever I have, but I didn't, so that's good. These guys continue to grow. They eat everything I put in the tank. Uh, you can see the fry eating on the moss in here, and that's fine. Um, I wish I could tell you what it's called, but if I try to say it, I'm gonna butcher it, and it's gonna sound probably really bad, so. Um, I'm not going to attempt to say what the little microscopic organisms are called, but they eat on it and they get they sustain themselves on it, and then they you know eat whatever I feed. This tank is kind of funny because uh, I feed adult food and for the adults, and some of the bigger juveniles eat it, and then I use the uh, small fish or fry food from Aquarium Co-op, and even sometimes I put uh, Cyclops as well. So there's a lot of food that goes in this tank. And there's a lot of fish in this tank. Uh, no eggs from these guys. I'm a little surprised. Not really surprised, but a little surprised. Let's, uh, let's take a look down here at the guppy tank. Also a lot of fry in here. A um, couple different generations, a couple different strains of fry in here. Uh, I figured I would just throw all my oddballs in here and make whatever mutts we have try to pair them off. My local fish store likes male, female. Um, that's what I get the most money for, so that's what I'll try to do, but you can see all the fry in here also eating on the, the moss. You know, to me, it's a great way to, to raise fry. Throw some moss in there, a couple sponge filters, a male and a couple female, and within 20 days, you'll have fry. As long as there's places for them to hide, you'll have fry. Um, you can see there aren't too many snails in here because these guys eat everything I put in. There are a couple snails, but not too many. All right, this tank. This tank is funny because I thought it all, it, it was only uh, koi swordtails, but it looks like I must have, must have thrown some other swordtails in there, some of those uh, neon, neon swordtails. And then, there is a red white body, it looks like. So it's possible, because of how my system is set up, it's really not possible for red white. Oh, unless they came, unless it came from that tank up there with the red white platies, which are juveniles now, which probably drains into that tank. Nah, I don't know how it got in here. Maybe I, I put it in here by accident. It's possible. Alright, that's it for fry. Everything on the top shelf, yeah, that's it for fry. Except for the angel fry. Looking good. I haven't fed them yet. Uh, I'm going to feed them and do a water change. I did a water change in this guy's tank. We're still looking for names. So far I have uh, real contenders would be Bean and Corey. That's right, somebody suggested I name this guy Corey. Um, kind of, it's a little, a little stalkerish if you, if you ask me, but we'll see. If Corey watches this and comments that he's okay with it, maybe we'll name him Corey. We'll see, though. Uh, some of these guys are starting really to look like angels. Like that one right there, that kind of looks like, let's see if I can... Quality sucks. Starting to look like angels, which is nice. I've actually never discussed angel prices with my uh, local fish store. He has another breeder that breeds these same angels, but I know he sells the crap out of them because I'll go in on a Saturday and there'll be, you know, 30 fish. And then in the middle of the week, I'll stop by for something else or just stop by because I needed two and you know there's only 10 left so I know he sells the crap out of them um yep yeah, these guys are juveniles well, now I'd have to say no more deaths since I did that big water change so that's good 
Hi, Nico. Hi, Nico. Nico. Nico's nose. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'm uh, going to sign off and finish my maintenance in the fish room. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a great weekend.